Ha! Ah. Morning, 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 morning. Let's go. Let's go. It's Monday. Look, because it was Monday, right? Part of me was like, yo, Marv, you know, sleep in. It's Monday. I'm like, nah, man, ain't no sleeping in. I got to get ready for this day, man. I got to get prepared just in case there may be some stressors or some opposition waiting for me later. At least I got a head start. You know what I mean? I hope everyone had a great weekend. Man, I watched my boy receive salvation this week, man. Shout out to you. Man, that was a great experience. I want us to start off the week right. So I just got a daily word of encouragement, man. So I was reading about the elephant, right? And I always thought to myself when I see like an elephant in a circus or something, I'm like, how do they tame it? Like, how does it just with this one little rope, they walk it around and it follows suit and it it doesn't flip out and wild out. It's kind of sad when you think about it. But with baby elephants, they start off by breaking their spirit. Check out what the word says in Proverbs 17, 22 about a broken spirit. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. They mentally and physically break them as babies. Like they start off at a young age, tying them with ropes, uh, starving them. They throw shackles around their legs. They basically break them down to nothing. Like it's they beat them down physically and mentally. So after months of this abuse, they finally give up. Like they have no more will to fight. So when you see them in a circus and that rope's around their neck, all it does is remind them of their past. So they don't even realize the power and the potential they have because as soon as you throw the rope around their neck, they go right back to when they was a child and all the pain and all the trauma that was there that they lose sight of who they really are and now they're just helpless and weak and they're just walking around. So that made me think of us as a people. Like a lot of us been hurt. A lot of us been beat down. A lot of us done experienced some trauma. A lot of us done had chains around our lives. A lot of us done been tied up to certain things to where it beat us down and we forgot who we are. We can't even realize the power and potential we have because of some of the physical and mental abuse we've been through. So now as adults, as we navigate through life, we still are holding on to childhood memories or childhood trauma that soon as something arises in our life, we just go back to that past and then we stay stuck. We put ourselves in chains. We don't even think we're worth anything. We can't walk with power. We don't even realize the power we have. When you say power, I'm like, what? What power? You don't know what I've been through. And we just hold on to that. We cling to that because it's so painful back there. It's like, how can I forget? That was me for a lot of years in my life, man. I was that elephant walking around with just the ropes of life around my neck, the chains of life, man, walking around with no hope, not caring about anything, just being people's puppet, you know, entertaining people, not knowing who I really am, not knowing my full potential because of things that I've been and I gave up on life. I didn't care anymore. Yes, I would smile and act like everything was good, but on the inside, I was broken. I was chained up. I had ropes around my neck. And no one can see that. That story soon changed, man. One day, as I was in that place where I had the chains around my neck, I had the rope around my neck, and I cried out to God. I said, God, if you real, I was crying when I tell you I never cried the way I cried this one day. And I said, God, if you real, I need your help. I said, I'm sorry. And when I tell you them chains broke off my life, they were gone. The ropes off my life, gone. Now I stand here today, I'm free. Now I stand here today and I walk in power. I started to realize who I am and what I'm capable of. And I ain't got to wear them ropes no more. I ain't got to wear them chains no more. Yeah, there's some days where someone may try to throw a rope over my neck and try to remind me of my past. And I just look and I may stay there for a minute and I might even walk in my past for a minute. But then I tap into who I really am. I take that rope off and I throw it off. Or maybe the chain of addiction might try to come. I might wake up one day and be like, you know what? It'd be better if I just started taking pills again. And then I look back at chain. And I say, nah, that don't belong to me no more. So I don't got to wear ropes around my neck today. I don't got to wear chains around my neck today and you don't either. So I'm here to tell somebody this morning, don't be that domesticated elephant that's being tamed by life. Don't be that domesticated elephant that's holding on to its past. Be that elephant that's free. Be that elephant that knows its potential. Be that elephant that has power. Be that elephant that has been transformed and set free by God. So I hope this encourages you. Have a great day who you are and whose you are. And if you don't know who you are, start seeking out the God, man.